The Victorian Coalition is pledging to spend more than $630 million to replace V-Line's ageing and unreliable long-distance fleet. Liberal leader Matthew Guy plans to buy 96 next-generation velocity carriages to be built here in Melbourne. State political reporter Andrew Lund has the exclusive details. For regular long-distance train travellers, this is no surprise. We will need to do some minor repairs and also do a door check before this train can be boarded. V-Line's ageing fleet is plagued by problems and passengers complain delays and cancellations are a regular occurrence. Maintenance issues, no air conditioning, yes. But it's more the lateness. It's, the train is always late. Once or twice a week, we tend to go through this. Opposition leader Matthew Guy wants to change that promising to spend $632 million to buy 96 next-generation velocity carriages to make up 16 new six-carriage trains. On the Albury services, Swan Hill, Bairnsdale, uh, Warrnambool trains, they'll all be replaced. He took the policy to passengers on the beleaguered Shepparton line. Rather than 35 years old, put something on that's, that's new. That's a good idea, and also for them to run on time, maybe? The Coalition plans to place its train order in June next year, with the entire fleet to be delivered by 2022 allowing the existing long-distance trains to be progressively phased out. First class, economy class, buffet class, as it is now, but on new velocity trains, faster, more efficient, more reliable, more comfortable. He's promised more rail announcements will follow and has the backing of at least one regular V-Line commuter. I'm just back from Europe and uh, what we've done here, marginal improvements, but it makes you cry compared to what even their semi-fast speed trains are in the middle of Italy, uh, in the middle of Germany. The Andrews government has committed $2 million to begin design work on longer distance velocities, but is yet to make any commitment to buy them. Andrew Lund, Nine News.